Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Frank G Life's crib. I want to show you guys around the lot here. We got an X3 Max in the garage. Follow me, follow me, check out my crib. We got an X3 Max 2021 with the Smart Shocks. No big deal, check that one out. Red seats, tan paint job. I like that one. And over there, an oldie but a goodie, 2018. No big deal, just X3 Maxes everywhere. Not a problem, come follow me in the garage. All right guys, so like the title says, today we're gonna be doing the uh, flipping of the shocks. So I don't know if you guys have seen a couple cars here on Instagram, here on Facebook, on YouTube, you'll see that a lot of guys flip the shocks. Now why do they do that? Well, just cause it looks cool. There's no other benefits. There's no cooling benefits. There's no benefits at all besides it looks cool. And sometimes some accessories have you flip the shocks. You can fit something in the middle here. So the reservoir's on the way. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Check it out. Today we're gonna be using this uh, 3 8 impact. We're gonna use a 18 millimeter socket and wrench to get off the shocks and we'll do them one by one. All right guys, first things first, you got to use your jack, jack up the car till the weight is off the shocks, but the tires are still barely touching the ground. And uh, we'll show you that in a second. Also, people have asked me before, uh, the jack that I use is just a Harbor Freight two and a half ton racing jack. And I'm using a Pro Eagle extension and base. So the base and the extension are separate. Uh, you pretty much just take the base off your aluminum racing jack from Harbor Freight and put on their base. And now you can use ex this extension, which comes really handy because um, these cars have a lot of travel. So if you don't have the extension, you look like the Three Stooges, like we do sometimes. <laughs> so <laughs> Get on. All right, so the car's all jacked up and um, the weight is pretty much off the shocks and the wheels are barely off the ground. They're scrubbing right now, barely. And um, that's okay because when we take off the bolts, we can use our toes or just use your hands, move the wheels up and down and you'll be able to remove the shock bolt. Cause sometimes it doesn't want to come out and you want to make sure there's no pressure on the shock bolt cause you'll mess up the threads. All right, 18 millimeter bolt, 18 millimeter nut. Go ahead. All right, we got the nut, the bolt. Is in the stress right now, so all we gotta do is move the wheel up and down. And we should be able to pop that up with our hands. See? Well, that's that. We'll do the other side. It's probably better to actually do the nut side so the bolt doesn't spin while it's under stress. Next, we'll do the uh, upper bolt, which is this one right here. And if you can, have a helper grab the shock because it will kind of fall down there. TJ, you want to grab that shock? Ready? Mm. I take that. All right. Now, I'm sure you could do this by yourself. I know I did it by myself a long time ago, but you got extra hands. Let him do all the fucking heavy work, dude. Come on, dog. Can't just sit behind a desk all day, you know? So, all you do is freaking play with the computer and they pay you. We are using jack stands. Because this came down, it's going straight to the ground, so we don't want that. All right, so now we're gonna trim the panels. And um, you gotta trim a lot because uh, you don't want the shocks to hit the plastics. Because if they do, uh, you're gonna damage the stickers and then you might, you know, crack this or damage this. So um, the reservoir is gonna stick out this way now. It's gonna look a lot better. Like I said, there's no added, you know, functionality or nothing better about it. It's not gonna cool any better, but um, it does look really cool. The Yamahas, I think, are like that from the factory, which looks cool. And um, I did to my car. It's a free mod that you could do at your house. And um, let's get to it. All right, remember we are using jack stands, so I'll um, be fine sitting on this tire, but um, just be very careful. You don't want this freaking thing coming down on you and you lose a leg or worse, you lose the family jewels, you know what I'm saying? So um, got this Dremel here. We're using this metal bit. This is the type of bit you would use to uh, maybe carve out some aluminum, maybe port some heads, I don't know. Not that I've ever done that before. It's an intake or two. Um, and then we'll finish it off with a regular sanding um, 
wheel and i'll show you guys that in a second because that's the one that gives like a nice clean edge this one is a rough edge but it cleans a lot of material I did a rough cut as you can see so this is factory right here and this is the rough cut i did we are taking away some material um but at the end of the day it's gonna look good um and the way it looks good is one of, is one of these so this little wheel um it leaves a nice clean edge the trick though is to make strokes without stopping if you stop in one spot the plastic starts overheating and <laughs> what the hell so the plastic starts overheating and um yeah so you want to take strokes quick strokes keep going evenly don't apply a lot of pressure and um it'll come out real good hold that all right guys so check it out here's what it looks like when i'm done um i still leave about i don't know that'll be three eighths to half an inch of meat here uh this is the main part you're trimming because that's where the shock will normally hit now if you look at the other side uh there's a good amount that you would be cutting so we're gonna mount the shock on this side and then uh we'll see how it would look see how how much room we have um i do smooth out this side over here and this side uh, i just try to smooth it out so it's kind of more even because then you start to see like a weird shape going on but i just tried doing it straight so i still gotta trim it up a little bit but that's pretty much the gist of it um what you see here is actually the freaking rock light we might have to reposition that somewhere else because it's kind of looks a little funky there but um besides that it came out pretty good so we'll mount the shock on this side and see what it looks like the magic man timmy is going to throw the shock in so real quick note the shock that was on the driver's side now goes on the passenger side so remember that so i'm gonna help him here he's gonna guide it through the hole there you go lower it there you go Ooh. Damn, do your buff. See how oh, you're doing it. I mean, you got it. There, that is, and it looks way better. Check it out. That looks a whole lot better. So the whole reason for trimming the panel is because we don't want the shock to hit the panel and damage the, the sticker, or do a little bit worse damage. Damage the plastic. It might push the plastics, but once you trim it, once you trim it, once you uh, Jiminy Crickets, once you trim it, uh, you should be fine. Now, now that I'm looking at it. Um, you're gonna have to trim it maybe more this way just a tiny bit we'll trim the other side we'll throw the other shock on and then we'll show you guys the finished product all right guys so i trim both sides once you guys come in closer and now uh, you guys can see from here from here you can see the openings that the shocks have um as i said trim this panel until it's about i want to say three-eighths of an inch thick versus how it was before was about here and then you're going to cut into this a little bit you know upwards here just to clear the shock because the shock as you can see here that is kind of rounded and it's gonna it would rub here so i trimmed it there and then all this here is just pretty much smoothing it out so the line's nice and straight same thing with this side or well, this could use a little bit so i might trim that just a little bit just so it looks good all right so i'm using the torque wrench put them at 100 foot pounds I think it's 90 foot pounds plus or minus something. Uh, 100 foot pounds, you'll be fine. So. All right, we'll do the other side. We'll lower the car and we're done. Oh, yeah, we still gotta install the light. So, your spy doesn't have a light, but we do have a uh, Baja Designs light on this one. We got a new amber cover. Check that amber cover out. All right, Baja Designs light is in. This is the S8, right? 10 inch? S8, 10 inch. We did a video on the, the whole lighting package. If you want to know more about what lighting, uh, check out the link below. But anyways, shots are done. Check them out. We're going to lower the car. Imagine it just fucking went down to the floor. Oh no, I broke my shots. Left it on bricks. All right, so that's all it takes to flip your shocks and make them look a lot better. Now, personally, I think this way is the way it should have came from the factory. Um, I know shock therapy will flip your shocks when they do their electric shocks, their IQS system. 
and um yeah but if you don't option for that this is the way to go if you want to have some you know better looks um honestly when i do the recordings from this angle this way uh, it looks really cool when the shocks are going up and down and uh yeah it just looks way better free mod can be free see you guys next time thanks for watching thanks for timmy and cj for letting me use their car as a test dummy because i don't know what i'm doing no i'm just kidding i do <laughs> but uh yeah came out great see you guys next time peace out and have a great night we were doing so good before and i thought that was going to let me blow you away real quick dog have it have it have it have it have it have it I think Chris wants to get featured today, no, no, dude. I don't want to get featured. I want you to say, as you guys can see, today we're going to be. Using this is our director tools. right here. This is yeah. our director. We got our director here, <laughs> CJ. This is his here. car, actually. Get out of here. Don't be trying to hide, dude. He's camera shy. He's You're already shy. in the Look, camera. Really, he's blushing a little bit. Why are you blushing for? <laughs> <laughs> the man is single, ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> get out okay, of here. Okay, I'll put that on there. Look. Oh, farmers only. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you can pause the video here and you can see exactly how much you're going to need to cut. And um, I kind of changed my mind on here. I got about between quarter inch and three eighths of an inch of uh, thickness left. So pause the video here. Give you guys a good uh, template. Screenshot this. And um, yeah, you get yours done, too. Thanks for watching.